guys, it's Erica with Snowy Mountain Farm and today for this video we're going to talk about rotational grazing and why you should do it on your farm with your animals no matter what kind of animals that you raise. So what is rotational grazing? Rotational grazing is when you take your property no matter how big or how small and you break it up into different sections or different pastures um, that you rotate your animals on. How do you rotationally graze? Okay, so you take your property, no matter what size, you can either split it in half completely, or you can split it into four or five different sections, depending on how many uh, acres of property that you have and how many animals that you have. You can do this by using temporary or permanent fencing. The main thing that you want to consider when you set up your different pastures is a water source and how you plan on getting water to your animals. If you have a smaller property like we do, that's not really a big deal because we just use buckets of water and set them where we need them to be. If you have a bigger property and you have a pond or a specific water source that you use, you wanna set up, set up your pastures according to that. That way your animals will always have access to water. If you have a bigger property and you have something like goats and you want to put them up of the night because of predators, you also want to set up your rotational um, fields so that your animals can get back to the barn in an efficient way so that it's not that big of a headache for you. Whether that be through different gates or just setting your pastures up where they all connect to your barn. You can do rotational grazing no matter how many acres of land that you have. If you only have a quarter of an acre and you only have two or three animals, you can still split your property in half or into four sections. Depending on how much grass that you have, um, if you don't have that much grass and you're needing to allow your land more time to heal, then you can split it up into more sections instead of less. Moving on to why you should rotationally graze your animals. Rotationally grazing your animals allows your land time to heal from your animals by giving it a break from them eating on it constantly. If you have one acre of land and you're letting your goats out on the whole acre all the time, they're gonna pick and choose what they want to eat and your land is not getting time to recuperate and your your pasture is not going to last you as long and sustain your animals as long as it would if you rotationally grazed. The number two reason why you should rotationally graze, especially with goats and sheep, is because of parasite load. Um, if you have goats, you probably have heard of the barber pole worm. The barber pole worm is the most deadly worm of all the parasites that a goat or sheep can get. Um, barber pole worms basically feed off the blood supply of your animal, making them, them very anemic and very sick very, very, very quickly. Barber pole worms have a life cycle of 21 days approximately from the time that an egg hatches until it's an adult life. That's how long that they can live without a host on your land. So when you rotationally graze your goats, you want to do it in a way that you're not making it back to your first field before that 21 day period is up. So for goats, you don't want to graze them on any kind of forage or grass that is under six inches tall because parasites can travel that far up on a plant. Here is also another tip that came directly from my vet. Um, he said not to let your animals out on wet grass, especially if it is on the, if it's like in the shorter range, because when grass is wet, parasites can travel farther up on the plant than they could if the grass was dry. So that is why you should rotationally graze and how you do it. Um, it's working out really well for us so far we have had a few kinks that we need to work out which i will show you guys later in this video i'm going to show you guys some clips of how goats really don't do well with change at all and it was it was 
pretty much a disaster on the first day, but yeah, here we go. Today is going to be our first day of rotational grazing for our goats this year. I have the electric fence box plugged up. We're going to go over here and see if it's working. I have a hammer with a rubber handle. Right here is kind of the most important section because they want to get out in the yard. Let's see. So we want to get the middle of the hammer on the fence and on the post to ground it out. And it's popping a tiny bit. Oh, what? These top two strands ain't, I don't think they're even. Let's see. I don't think it's connected. Hold on. It looks like Brandon has it hooked up where like only this strand has electric on it. These other three don't, which will work for the big goats, but we're going to have to rig it up different when we get the babies in here. But we're going to go up here and try to get um, the big goats separated and leave the babies in the barn because I'm home by myself right now. And if they were to get out on me, because they're going to test this fence, um, if they were to get out on me, it would be hard for me to put them up by myself with the kids here. So we're just going to do the big goats and the dog for right now. So all the babies are left in here. They're being extremely loud. I turned all the big goats out, the girls, and we're going to go down there and open that gate here in a minute. They're not happy. <sighs> Weaning time is going to be extremely loud around here. Hopefully they won't be able to jump out this hole right here. I'm going to give them a little bit of feed and see if they'll calm down. Okay, so I got everybody in here. Probably should count how many there is. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so there's 12. And I am going to let Barb in here. I got to go up there and get their water buckets and bring down here. And I'm going to latch this so they can't get up in here. Well, Barb let herself out. Come on! <laughs> Can you guys see her? She literally jumped that four foot gate. No, not chance. Barb! Come on! Here she comes. Come on! Well, that made my job easier anyway. I won't have to unlatch this gate and latch it back twice. Come on! In here. <laughs> so silly. Okay. I'm gonna latch this gate back and I'll be back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave we're going to start turning them, turning them out in this field and latching that gate where they can't get back to the barn every day for two weeks straight. And then after the two weeks is up, we're going to move them to the other field over there. Grace needs help with the fence. So this is the first day of their 14 days in here. <laughs> so that'll put us at 28 days before we make it to the top field again. Listen to those babies. Hopefully they don't scream too loud. Look how tall the grass is. It's almost like completely over their backs. And Chief did go down in here too, so. Hopefully he won't try to go through the fence because he's not really used to electric either. These girls are all broke to electric fence. They don't even try it. Um, that wire ain't got anything on it, baby. Um, I don't know where Chief went. Maybe he's just checking the perimeter. See how far he can go. That's the only thing I don't like about this field is I can't see to the bottom of it all the way across from the house. Yeah, that's but bad, I'm going to go up here and get their water buckets and set them under this big tree right here. There's a lot of shade in this field and it's like in the 90s this week. So I was like, this is the perfect week 
to put them on this field and they've ate the first one down quite a bit so it needs a break for sure they're going to fight Now they're going to fight. <laughs> I think it's like 83 right now. Today they're giving rain for tomorrow, so I probably won't turn them out at all tomorrow. So there's Miss Pebbles. She's going to, well, she's not going to fight Barb. She's it's one of the only ones that's not going to fight her. But Look at Valentine. <laughs> I knew they would love these bushes. Are they already gonna try to go back to the barn? Where's Toby? He usually keeps them away from the fence pretty good. So I've gotta find Chief because I really don't know where he went. He did come in here though. Found Chief, he's just checking everything out. He's literally checking every inch of this field. I think the goats are gonna follow him this time. This field shot up this week. Like there was hardly anything in here. And then we've had like a week and a half without any rain, two weeks or something like that. And it like literally went bam. Shot up. That's cause it could. <laughs> what? You barely even see them. Guys. That's weird. I can barely even see them. Unless they're way out in the distance. Oh, well. See that white spot over there? That's the chief of the goats. Lily's going over there too. I'm not really but Valentine. Okay guys, so this is actually day three of the goats being in this front field. Um, it didn't go as planned the other day when I was videoing because I looked back outside and all the goats were back at the barn. So we had to take and put some stuff right here in front of this homemade gate. I gotta get an actual gate to go there because they just pushed through it and made it back to the barn. Um, but... The babies seem to be doing good with the electric fencing. Um, we've only had like two actually get in it, but Toby keeps them away from it for the most part. Look at all the babies. Look how much they're, they've grown, guys. So, Here's Dottie, Diamond, Sasha, Jazzy, the little girl that's going to the bowling family. Um, Whiskey, Eden, uh, Charlie's little boy that's going to the Cannon family. Back there is Charlie that's going to Napier Homestead Farm and Ruby right beside her that's going with her. Um, there's Jules. Here, Annie. She's trying to get some leaves. And then there's Annie's little boy. Where are, where's Daphne and her kids? There's one of the, oh, here's Daphne's other kid. Here's Hank. Oh, the baby just got in the fence. Here's Scarlett. And there is Miss Ebony. Hi, Eb.
Look at Hoofy. This tree is filling out this year. It's giving them a lot of shade. This is where they like to hang out when they're not eating. <laughs> Whiskey and Scarlet are going to headbutt. Look at Holly down here ramming this tree. We say we're getting a snack. A little diamond. There's Barb. Barb is actually leaving. She's going to my mom's farm. My mom's name is Barb too. If I haven't told you guys the story before, my husband, him and my mom like to pick around at each other. And I never could think of what to name her when I bought her. And Brandon told me that I should name her Barb because she, she's a very vocal goat. And my mom, she's, she has a big personality. And uh, it was just a little joke that my husband had going, but we started calling her Barb and it kind of just stuck. I have to worm chief this evening. We're actually getting ready to put everybody back in the barn. I let them down here to eat for a little bit and they're just like, they're just ready to go back to the barn already. They're not used to being in this field a whole lot, not like being locked in here. Cause usually I'll just let them in here, but leave that open. And anytime they get scared of anything, they want to run back to the barn. So they don't like that they can't go all the way back to the barn, but they're going to get used to it. Hopefully by the end of the summer, everybody will get the program of what's going on. This is the first year that I've done it like this, but this was my plan all along. That's why I have three separate pastures. There's Lily. She's rubbing on the fence. Ebony. <laughs> Chief's like, get down. You're going to get hurt. There's Daphne. She's leaving too. She's going to be on my mom's farm. Her and Barb. Hey, you said I want that stuff. Hey. That's my favorite, like the one with the white of black on it. Eden? Yeah. Jace's Eden is, is his favorite, but he likes Dottie too. Yeah, Dottie's my second favorite. Eden is my number one. Well, and you can and tell that these right here is mom and daughter, Lolly and Holly. Yeah, I can tell. Trolley is Lolly's too, but you can't tell by looking at her. Is Don really going to fight with Annie? Like, really? <laughs> Eve's not. like, quit picking on her. Pick on somebody your own size. Uh, Here's little Sasha. Hey, Sasha. We're keeping hey, her, Daddy, but Daddy. her mama is leaving us. Hey, Daddy, They say they're not hungry, but... When it's time to go to the barn, they'll probably be wanting their feet anyway, won't they? Yeah. Daddy put Daddy. Now that's just a There's update two. on on our previous okay. video so that everybody knows what's going on. I didn't get to record that evening because like I said, it did not go as planned. I looked back outside and they were all, all, all at the barn. And then I tried to let the babies out because I thought they would come back down here and they just, they didn't. So, yeah. Some, sometimes things take a couple tries to get yeah. all the kinks worked out. Yeah, now you can see, I had to put some boards here because the babies were going through and then it's like they couldn't figure out how to get back through. So... We did have something interesting happen yesterday. Um, 
I let them down in here for a little while yesterday and we left Barb in the barn and she jumped all the way over the four foot gate and so then she was in here for a while and was eating and then I come back down here to check on everybody and she was in here with them so she must have jumped that fence like I don't even know the only thing I don't like about that fencing they like to rub on it and then it causes the bottom to like curl up so then you get holes under the bottom of it which is fine for the big goats because they can't get through it which these babies are almost too big to fit through the holes but let's look at chief <laughs> A stick big enough for a Great Pyrenees. <laughs> it's still in the ground, guys. <laughs> He's so silly. To look at him, I mean, you wouldn't think that he was still a puppy, but he is. He's, he just turned a year old in February. Come on, Chief! Valentine, hurry up! Fatty, 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 he's bringing up the rear. So this is our first year of attempting rotational grazing. Um, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel so you can keep up with all of our um, farm adventures and projects and all the baby goats and um, we'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching